What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. Today we're back down at my land in Douglas County and we're going to walk around and see if we can't cover a little bit more ground and find some deer sheds. Last In the last video we were down here and we didn't find any but there was a bunch of snow on the ground and I think that might have been making it a little more difficult to find what had fallen off before the snowfall had happened so we're gonna walk around for a little while and with any luck we'll stumble across a few we're gonna walk up here and i want to look out this one big field up on top of this hill a lot of deer like to bed up in there so we're gonna do a big grid all the way through that field and see if we can't find any but all right guys stay tuned Hopefully we'll find a bunch of sheds. Alright guys, well we've been just walking down the edge of this uh, field and fence line here. And I found something I want to point out. This would be, in my mind, a great spot to find sheds. Because you can see it's got this big branch here. And you can see where the deer have been going under the fence right here. Because there's plenty of hair on it. And in my mind, if they got to get low and go through a spot like this, this would be a great location to find one. Let me give you an idea of what I've been walking. I know it's hard to tell, but just right through here, there's a massive game trail that I'm pretty sure a lot of the deer have been using. I know my mom, she has a ground blind right up here on this hill where she deer hunts. And every time I sit in it, deer tend to come from this direction right up behind it but i just thought i'd show you that that's kind of a basically the areas we're looking for i think that would be a great place to find a shed especially if a buck just happened to go through there when he's when his horns were already pretty loose that's a spot he would definitely drop them but we're going to continue to walk through here. We're going to grid search this whole field. And with any luck, we'll stumble across some. But all right, I'll let you know when we find something interesting. All right, guys. Well, it's not a shed, but we did find something kind of weird. It is February 5th, I think. And check out this. Eggs. I'm not sure if these are like old turkey eggs. But you can see there was quite a few of them. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to guess. They were turkey eggs. That's cool. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go with. That's a turkey nest. But we've did, I don't know, four or five passes through here. A couple passes up top. And we're still going through here looking. With any luck, here in the next little bit, we'll run across a nice set of sheds. There's a, a buck down here that was actually in one of my... Uh, first rifle hunting videos I posted this year or last year and I'd really really love to find his sheds he was a really really nice deer the only reason I didn't shoot him was half of his uh, either I think it was his left main beam was broke off so that's one of the reasons I'm down here looking so hard I'd really like to find his set of antlers and I had him on my game camera a lot right before they lost all of them. So with any luck, we'll find them. But all right, I'm going to get to back to walking and looking. So I'll catch you guys in a few. All right, guys. Well, it took us an hour and a half, but we grid searched this entire field out and I don't even know how many deer beds we found and different trails and 
everything else but the most interesting thing we found was that uh, turkey egg nest from last spring <clears throat> but we're gonna walk this little timber shelf out here right above where we had the camera at they could have you never know they could have dropped their horns just right in here somewhere but we're gonna give this a thorough looking through and then we may go and search another patch or two real quick if i find anything i'll let you guys know but make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video i have a few sheds back at the house i found a couple years ago that i want to show you that are pretty neat so either way you'll definitely get to see some shed antlers at the end of this video regardless of if we find any or not but all right i'm gonna keep looking around here and see what we can't find with any luck we'll get lucky and find one all right well unfortunately that patch didn't hold any either we're in a different one right now walking down the edge of ours and the neighbor's fence line we're going to see if we can't find any that have just happened to fall off when they jumped this fence being woven wire unless there's a spot like this where they can crawl under it they pretty much have to jump it and when they jump in my brain when they come back down and hit the ground it might just jar their head enough just just enough to make them horns come loose hopefully ow i don't know i know it doesn't seem like it to you guys but i've done quite a bit of walking today just trying to find us some and i know it's really not been worth it so far but you never know If I can find a way to get across this little ditch without being in the briars. I don't know. After I get done looking for sheds and filming this video, I may go down here. I'm not 100% sure if I brought it with me. But I think I have my metal detector that I borrowed from a buddy. And if I've got it and something to dig with, we may uh, set up down here and dig around my uh, great-grandparents' old house and see if we can't metal detect us some valuables of some sort. I know I metal detected there for a while, about a year ago or so, and found a decent amount of old coins and various other things, nothing of you know exponential value but some pretty cool artifacts so we may end up doing that here in a bit i don't know which if we do it'll be in the next video of course but might give you guys something to look forward to i don't know it just depends if i've got it with me or not that looks like a skull of some sort you can take a look at this Yeah, that's what it is. Old cow skull. I found another one of those over here in the other field, but I didn't film it. I didn't didn't really consider it to be that interesting. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and stop filming and walk through here and search pretty thoroughly. And I'll let you guys know if I find anything. If not, the next thing you will probably see will be me at the house showing you the sheds I've got there from a couple years ago. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out on that. But all right, I'm going to hop off here and look pretty good and we'll see if we can't find some. All right, guys. Well, we're back at the house. I'm going to show you a few of the sheds I've found over the last few years. I actually found these two within like four or five feet of each other 
in the 2019 rifle season. I actually found them on the way to recover the big buck I shot that year. Kind of neat. You can tell they've been ate on by rodents and squirrels. But that ain't no big deal. They still look just as pretty to me. Next is just a random find. I'm not even 100% sure where or when I found it, but it's a pretty nice little shed. Come off of a young buck. And then this is one of the first sheds I found. As, oh heck, I don't know, I was probably like 11, maybe 12 when I found that. It's one I've always kept just because it was one of the very first ones I ever found. I believe me and my dad was turkey hunting. And I remember stepping over a log and when I stepped over the log it was laying just on the other side of it. So that's pretty neat. Then this, it's not really a shed. It's more of a break off. But isn't that cool how it's palmated right here? Almost got like a little, kind of like a little drop tine point. Where the end kind of hooks down. Alright, now to show you my all-time favorite shed find. I actually found this, um, and Ethan, if you're watching, you'll probably remember this, but I found this when, um, I took my buddy Ethan bow hunting one time, and he ended up shooting a doe, which unfortunately we never did find her, but we looked for like two and a half hours for this deer. And I happened to find this right on the little blood trail the deer had left. That's probably my best find ever when it comes to shed hunting. I mean, look at how gnarly that base is. All the little points coming off of it. And I looked and looked and looked for the other half and never did find it, but that'd have been a really cool set to get the to get a matching set of. I have found a bunch of other sheds in my lifetime, and I found one complete set off a of buck one time that was really nice, and I ended up using them for uh, rattling antlers, and stupid me I accidentally left them in the tree stand for a year's time and when I got back there wasn't nothing but like that much of the bases where it was attached to the strings that I had them tied together to the squirrels that ate it but you live and you learn don't leave your rattling antlers in the tree stand for a whole year <laughs> but alright guys that's going to wrap this video up Thanks for taking the time to watch. I know my videos haven't been all the greatest lately, but there really isn't a lot for me to get out and record. I know, well actually, let me give you a quick look outside. So you can kind of see what I'm dealing with here. Don't mind the tin out there, that's a mess. But we've got like, frigid cold temperatures and it's been snowing and icing lately and the roads are just to the point to where a guy can't hardly get out but all right guys that's gonna wrap this video up thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave me a like leave me a comment make sure to subscribe if you haven't and have yourself a good one